Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a beautiful 1984 Ford Mustang, five liter, five speed. This is a GT350 package. We have the Marty Report along with a lot of associated documents. Today, we're gonna give you guys a comprehensive walk around and let you decide if you wanna put this Fox body in your collection. This is a fun driver quality piece and we are proud to showcase it. If you guys enjoy this content, click on the link below, like and subscribe because we have way more coming. Man, it's beautiful out here today. It is 84 degrees, and we're gonna test out a convertible Mustang. Overall condition, I would rate this one easily a six out of 10, so that's a 60% out of 100. And you're gonna go, Jonathan, it looks amazing in the video, but we're very, very descriptive here, and we're gonna go over the whole entire car. This has been repainted. There are minor imperfections on the front area. Um, interior has been redone at some point, so that's why we give it that lower rating. In regards to drivability, drives amazing. Motor is very healthy, brakes feel great, um, has a set of Yokohama tires, which we'll talk about later on when we get to the side of it. Front fascia is very clean. You have the four-eye design for 84. White top, red interior. Glass has minor imperfections in it, so that's another part of that six uh, out of 10 rating, so 60%. Body lines are even throughout, so both panel gaps are even on both sides. Underneath, it looks like there has never been an accident, so. We could see that also, I believe we can run a Carfax on this one, so that'll be in the listing. Tires look to have about 80% tread left. Wheels, so these are my favorite wheels. These are Chrome Ponies. They are showing oxidation, but they show very well. So I would call this essentially a 10 footer for the wheels and tires. I love the GT350 stripe, and then we have the full Marty report, which is gonna break down all the options and essentially how rare this car is. It has power windows. You also have a little control screen right there that tells you if you're getting low on fuel. Cruise control, which we're gonna test out and see if it works. Seat belts are nice, they're red as well. Red carpet and the door closes nicely. Vinyl top is very nice as well and the power still works so it goes back and forth on its own. You don't have to assist it. This does have a parade top that's red as well. It's in the trunk. Quarters are very nice and underneath it is very solid. So if you click on the link below, you're gonna have all the underside shots and you'll be able to see every suspension piece underneath the exhaust, the whole nine yards. Let's go to the rear and then we'll go to the passenger side. We're at the rear of the vehicle, taillights are in great condition, minus the driver's side, small imperfection right here. Emblems are in the proper place. Uh, minor imperfections here from the key ring. So this has a built forward tough, tough uh, keychain. I'm sure that every time that they would open it, it would touch and that's why there's some imperfections here. I see touch up paint on some of the edges right here and the bumper does have some stress cracks. I'm being really picky here, so most people would never notice this, but we have to do that because you guys are buying it online, sight unseen. Look at our, uh, our reviews in regards to selling cars, over 3,000 classic and niche market cars, 100% positive feedback. That's pretty good for selling used cars. Trunk is very clean. Uh, there, I still see the stampings here. Small little bit of rust on this edge right here, and that's just us telling you exactly how it is. Rear section over, and uh, this quarter is original, the same thing on the driver's side. Still has a spare tire with a jack and the metal looks very nice underneath here. It's pretty. Let's go to the passenger side. Passenger side looks the same as the driver's side in regards to all the gaps, very even. Your rubber trim right here is original, but it is showing its age, so I do see some affixings here, so some screws that someone has installed to hold it in place. GT350 badging is very nice. And once again, the wheels do have a little bit of tarnishing, but they show very well. Uh, I love the front section of this car. So when you look at the nose, you have those four eyes, that signature for this era of car. Uh, the convertible top works as it should. So let me do that real quick while we're looking at it. Put the key on. We're gonna release these straps right here. Air condition's starting to blow even though the car is off. Let me turn that off. I hear the radio working. There we go. Nice and smooth.
I'm going to leave it like this for the rest of the test drive and then we can um, go for a spin. I want to pop the hood real quick and then we'll go over the interior and you guys can kind of make a decision on if you want to put this in your garage. Taking a look under the hood, we have a five liter power plant. This is mated to a five speed transmission. You do have upgraded radiator hoses. So these are the ones that they would use uh, basically for the police cars. Radiator looks good. There's no play in the, the fan. Radiator also looks like it's been replaced with a factory style unit. You do have a set of shorty headers. I don't know the brand, but they look good. Ford Motorsport wires and uh, your towers up here look good. There's no rust or rot. Shock rubbers look good too. Power brakes, power steering, power steering. The color of the fluid looks good. It's red. Uh, AC has been retrofitted, so that's it does blow cold. It's been retrofitted with 134. I don't see any seepage near the water pump, which would be a common issue. You do have your uh, Dura Spark, which operates the ignition, and it still looks like the factory box. You have that typical seepage underneath it, but it starts right up with no issues. New starter solenoid as well. This is a nice, clean driver quality piece. If you guys are looking for an 84 Mustang with a nice Marty report, this would be it. We're going to close the hood, show you the interior, and take her for a rip. Taking a look at the interior, it's very clean. Seats have been reupholstered both front and rear. You still have your factory seat belts in place, five speed transmission, steering wheel is in very good condition. Your door cards are nice and original and all the rubbers look really good throughout. Um, you do have to assist this glass when you put the top up. So you have to lower it a little bit and then raise it when you put the top up just for it to seal properly. Otherwise it'll have a little bit of a gap and you don't want that because water will intrude into the cabin if it rains. Carpet is very clean. You do have an aftermarket stereo. My favorite part about this whole entire dash, the aircraft styled uh, items here. So you have your tachometer, your speedometer that goes 85 miles per hour, up to 85 miles per hour. 81,385 miles, I believe that is true based on the condition and the underside. You have your air condition controls here, fuel, oil pressure, your voltage, and your water temperature. You also have cruise control, which we'll test out in this video. The convertible top has been replaced at some point and the rails are very nice on the interior. It goes up and down with ease. Um, your visors are still original and they look really good. The top section here is nice and free from any rot or oxidation. This is a nice driver quality piece. Let me start it up right now and we'll take it for a spin. Listen to this thing. Sounds good. Those shorties and the exhaust sound great. This does have a special feature. In the glove box, not only do you have tissues, but you have my favorite spray. This is Sweet Crush by Body Fantasies. This is to lure in all the additional foxes you're gonna need. And then the tissues are for when you break their heart. You can give them a tissue on the way out. Let's go for a test drive. All right, let's start it up. Right above cold right now. Fuel gauge is showing. We're pretty low, but we'll be all right. Oil pressure is good. Uh, it's charging. Charging system is working. Let's get the air blowing here. Clutch feels good. That's second gear. Suspension feels good when you're taking this corner. There's a little bit of rattling from inside the glove box. We have a um, additional little controller here for the radio. So the radio does operate. I'm going to leave it off for the test drive. Going over bumps right now. We have the typical forward rattles. Second gear. Third gear. Fourth. No slippage, brakes are even, suspension soft. I love this part when you go through a tunnel. Feels good. Let me adjust the seat a little bit. I'm a little close to the steering wheel. You do have a tilt column as well and then cruise control. So let's see if it works. On, set, cruise control is operating. We can turn it off and it drops. We're 
going to take a left here. I'll test out the acceleration and then get you guys some nice outside shots. If you guys have any questions, give us a call, 954-363-2261. I'm not having any pop-outs from the transmission, uh, no synchro issues. Interior is extremely nice. Like The dash is very nice. It's not a recovered dash. Uh, windscreen has some little imperfections in it, but overall, very nice driver quality piece. There's Todd. He's our neighbor. He sells uh, inflatable boats. He's building a Factory 5 race car right now, actually. Let's see how the acceleration is. You ready? That's not bad. Okay. Yeah, okay. Test out fifth gear. No slippage. Back into third. The burbles are perfect. We got all the kids out here filming the airplanes landing. I love seeing that. Here's one coming over. So if you guys are in a different state, you want to fly in to take a look at this, you can. You're going to see the airplane fly over us right now. I'll wait so you can see it. That's how close we are to the airport. Nice and smooth. All the power windows operate, so I can put the windows up. You can see them going up. Rear ones work too, so I'll put those up real quick. You can see them going. This one in the rear, you have to use the controller in the back, but it does operate for the driver's side uh, rear. I'm gonna turn around and get you guys some beautiful artistic shots. We gotta test and see if it has posi, right? Oh, yeah. Mm. Got it. <laughs> now, these things are so cool. They're affordable, they're fun. This one has is pretty rare. Uh, so it's a GT350 package, and you can see that on the Marty report, and it'll break down all the colors and, and essentially the rarity of it. But um, I like it, it drives nice. Oh, by the way, all the lights work here. So if you have low fuel, if your brake lights are out, etc., you have a clock here, and I may as well turn the radio on so you can see that it works. So it does work. Cool. By the way, if you guys enjoy Fox Body content, we have our Heat Seeker shirts, which are they're 93 Fox Body Mustangs, which still looks like a brother of this car. Click on the link below. You guys can load yourself up with some Fox Body shirts. We also have decal kits. Do it. This thing's got some get up and go. Hope you guys enjoyed that test drive. I'm out of here.